Hello everyone and welcome back to Chaos Creations. I'm at home at the moment and I'm just doing a spot of painting and I want to talk to you about something that's going on. Now, I bought 90% of these uh, Tyranid, bar I think a couple of the Warriors, on the cheap from somebody, and I can't remember who, it was a while ago. So, uh, when the high fleet of Iathan box set started coming out and so forth, I thought, right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to find a color scheme that works well for me. And that's the wonderful thing about Tyranids. They can be all sorts of bazillions of colors. I tried green, blues, oranges, but I found with my eyesight not being the best, I needed something simple. So I initially went for, I think it's High Fleet Behemoth, I think is the correct name, which is a very simple red and brown. But me being an idiot, I wanted to challenge myself. So I started doing High Fleet Leviathan, as you can see here. Now, I've done all sorts of different ways, trying different paints, different styles and so forth to get the color scheme that I want. And I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is don't be afraid to experiment. I found a system that works very well for me with my eyesight. And it took me a while to get there. And I'm, I mean, I did the old traditional, like, green sort of sand on the tiles. And then I went to the brown. And then I tried a bit of flock and so forth. So don't be afraid to give it a go. And innovation is, you know, the key here. What you see online and so forth might work for some person. It may not work for you. And I say that because I saw a couple of videos. And I said, oh, I'll just simply do a, a quick wash of this. And then a light dry brush of that and you'll be done. And I did exactly, exactly what they said. Mine did not turn out even remotely close. But from that, I was able to extract some information and I found a system that works very well for me. And so I had, now I have got some finished high fleet um, Leviathan models. So I want people to not be shy and, you know, try to innovate wherever you can. I mean, some of these started off vastly different, like bright blues and bright greens and now look at them they're looking wonderful i had some person having a go at me the other day because you know i use tesseract green mixed in with a bit of purple to give it a weird sort of effect on a blade because i was trying it out who cares as long as it works well for you you go for it have fun enjoy the process i have now it takes me for about a tyranid warrior all up it takes me about an hour to paint one up and that's including sand and flock when you add all the time together. So don't be afraid to try different things. Now, what will happen is uh, the high fleet of Ithan ones here will be varnished and they'll go on a shelf. I'll put these ones away. These have got, I think they're flesh borers on them. Not flesh borers, these are devourers, sorry. These are flesh borers. And I'll put the ones with devourers away for the moment. And I've got uh, a Piranha effects I want to put together and glue at the very least before the box set comes out. I get a very limited time to uh, paint at the moment, so I have to do with whenever I can. But that said, I am very, very happy on how these models have turned out. They're not, you know, amazing quality, but for a 54-year-old man with some dodgy eyesight, I think these have turned out quite nicely. Anyway, everyone have a great day. This is Chaos signing off. Bye-bye.